Good afternoon. I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm just going to tell you a story. How many of you have a smartphone on them right now and are looking at the smartphone instead of looking at the stage? Or didn't hear what I said because you're looking at your smartphone? Well, we're going to talk today about ATMs and mobile banking convergence. The ATM is the oldest digital channel in the world. First connected device on a network enabling people to do transactions and get cash out of a machine. The most recent digital channel in the world is the mobile phone. And you all have one. Some of you probably have two, maybe even three. It's the first thing you turn on in the morning and it's the last thing you turn off, if you turn it off, when you go to bed at night. So today we are really dealing with the coexistence of digital and physical reality. We are, as human beings, both expecting more and more from the technology around us. We take it for granted. It's there, it's available, and we hardly remember what it was like before we had the technology available. And consumer demands are rising. The expectation, customers are no longer saying, would it be nice if I could do this? Rather, they are telling the banks, why can't I do this? From a privacy standpoint, the phone also is probably the smallest convenient display you can have that makes it difficult for somebody to look over your shoulder and figure out what you have in your bank account. I believe you were talking about you know, people nervous, you know, three minutes is, in front of an ATM, three minutes is a long time. And then we hear a lot about mobile and ATM interaction. A lot of banks are experimenting, including the bank I came from before uh, I started my own business a few months ago. Uh, and it raises a new challenge because with all of this technology, the problem of security doesn't go away. It just changes.